Hi everybody, I am the Redneck Warrior. If you've made it to this channel, that means you want to know how to change the AC compressor on a trailblazer. Uh, a little bit of background about myself. I am AKA the Redneck Warrior. I inherited that name for uh, six generations of rednecks and backwood uh, countrymen, you know. Anyways, let's get started. You see this bar right here? We have to take it off first. So take two bolts, 10 millimeter bolt. You got one here. And you got one right here on the other side, right next to the oil. And the dipstick right here, right down and right in here. Let's get that off. I do recommend you get one of these little cups that sticks to a uh, your car. Put all your little bolts in. Highly recommend it. So the second thing you want to do is take the belt off. There's a tensioner pulley right here next to the uh, clutch fan. See this right here? Tyler pulley. That's what you need to hit right there. There's a slot right here in the middle. Right, and the next thing you need to do is take this bracket off right here that holds the uh, all that around. It's a you'll need a 15 millimeter. You have to take these two bolts out right here, and there's one in behind it. I'll show you. Now me, I, I use a uh, add a small breaker bar. Great for getting a few things off, you know, pretty quick. If you don't have a breaker bar, it's all good. You can do it with your hand. There's small uh, ratchet. Ain't a big deal either. Breaker bar does help. Might save your knuckles, you know, stuff like that. There's a bolt right in behind all this. What I've done is used a, uh, it's also a 15, just use a longer extension. You have to squeeze it on back in there. You'll get it. I got faith in you. And if you don't get her, <clears throat> I got faith that you'll probably cuss about it. See the bolt back in the back. So the next two is going to be the alternator brackets. Now they're also 15s. You got one here. You got one there. Right here on the very bottom. If you reach at the bottom of the alternator, you'll feel the bolt. But oh god, I feel the breaker bar coming. I put a little Excalibur to work here. Bye, mate. Come on. Oh, that's nice. Man, that thing I'm sure does make life easy. Alright. Just give it time. You gotta show it a little bit of love. It's coming up. Oh, buddy, you got this. If you talk to it, it, it usually works a little faster for you. Yeah, that's right. You like that, don't you? It likes it. He's got to talk pretty to it. That's right. There you go. Damn, son, look at the size of that thing. Pull that sucker out, show it to your old lady. She'll be like, damn. I didn't know you have one that big. Hmm. <laughs> now the next boat's gonna be the fun one. You have to move half his shit out of your way. I don't know why Chevy done this. And they're like, you know what? Let's put a few things right in this fucking way. Chevy's like, I don't give a damn what it is, let's put it in the way. This is a knuckle burner. You know what this one? This is where the fun is. Oh shit. Oh shit. I think we got him. He's on there. Hey baby. Come to Papa. I can't really dog him too much on the actual motor, but you know, once again. Changing anything on this is an issue. 
Uh, now that you got the alternator off, you ain't got to worry about messing the bolts up because they're all the same length. You need to flip it on top. You have a plug in. You have to get a, a, a 10 millimeter bolt right here. When you are dealing with electricity, I do highly recommend uh, unhooking your battery. I always do for safety. Uh, dealing with an alternator. All right, so when you get that idler pulley out, like I said, there's there's three bolts. There's a small one on top. There's a large one on the bottom. It's really long. That's top. That's bottom. Some men are blessed. Hold on, some are blessed, some are not. Getting the AC out is going to be an issue. Short, long, long, long. Okay, so if you made it this far, you, you skipped the 15 stages of bullshit from Chevy. You made it to the final boss, which is the AC compressor, because that's kind of why we're here. So what I've done is I went in and got me some blue gloves. You want to know why? Because I just like the way they feel. Not really. So what we're going to do is crack this line right here. That's it. That little line right there. Neat little buddy. It's also a 15 millimeter. I got the gloves on because you're going to be dealing with Freon. You want to barely crack it. Barely crack it. Just enough for it to drip out and discharge your system. I got the gloves on, obviously, because I want to get it on my hands. So we're going to do that right now. Sit down there. She's a hissing. She's a purring. You got to open it up and just let her do her thing. You got to discharge your whole system, so it's going to be a minute. In the meantime, you get to look at my pretty face. All right, when she's done purring, then you can finish taking her all the way off and get her dead. So the next part's gonna be the absolute amazing part. You made it all the way down to the compressor. You're like, man, I'm making great time. Here's where you're gonna fuck yourself up. Now the pump that I got, I went and got out of junkyard. So I done took it apart. I kind of know what it's like. It sucks ass. There's four bolts on this compressor. There's two up top and two on the bottom. Two on the bottom ones are gonna be the absolute fun ones. Every bit of it's 15 millimeter, by the way. You get them out, there'll be one plug in on the uh, compressor at the top. You unplug it, and it'll come right up from the top. And when you do this pump, I recommend that you break the two top bolts loose. Don't take them out. Just ratchet them out just a little bit. And then work from the bottom, and then come up. It can make the job a little bit easier. If you turn your wheel all the way in on the inside, and you get right down here, you can get to the two bottom bolts. See this right here? You can get to the left one. You can go over here and get to the right ones. And the way I done it, <laughs> a stupid long extension followed by two more little extensions. Uh, these two together right here are for the right side. This long one is for the left side. You know, a little rule of thumb as you're tightening this stuff up. Remember, it is aluminum. So, uh, don't feel like you gotta, like, really crank that shit out, you know? Alright, for the very last of this, see that valve right there at the very end? That's where you're gonna fill up. Uh, I always get it between the green and the yellow. You know, never had anything blow up. Don't really know what it calls for, but that's always where I put it. Never had an issue. It is dark, I understand. I'm here with the light. You know, I got caught doing things, so. But anyways... Uh, hit a like, hit a subscribe. You know, I usually work on this thing every now and then. So, if you like what you've seen, let me know uh, in the comments. If I fucked up anything, let me know that. You know, because uh, I just love the constructive criticism the internet gives you. Anyways, don't be a Karen. Don't be calling the fucking manager on people. And have a good fucking night.